I just picked up this uh, right angle impact M12. It's just the tool by itself. And I've got plenty of batteries and other things. So I don't need the, uh, charger or anything like that. Owner's manual or whatever. And some promotional material, I'm sure. Pretty nice. It's got a good fuel in the hand. Um, I know uh, I'm pretty familiar. I've had with the I've had the M12 Impact for years, um, the regular one, and I know about what it can do. So I'd be interested to know how how well this one measures up. Not expecting necessarily quite the same out of it. Um, you know, given the the right angle on it, I, it doesn't seem like it's going to be quite as robust just by its design. Sticker's lifting already. I don't really like that. There we go. Barely. Yeah, this it's got a nice, uh, nice trigger switch. Uh, it locks in the middle as you would expect. And the forward and reverse action feels good. So I'll be looking forward to trying that out. I'm getting the right angle drill too. That's just uh, that hasn't come yet. So this one got here first. Hey guys, uh, today just got my uh, finally got my Milwaukee M12 right angle drill that I ordered. Not something I'm gonna need all the time, um, but every once in a while you, you you're in a tight spot and you really need it. Uh, so that's why I got this, and that's why I got the right angle impact. So I'm gonna see how they hold up. I've been very happy with the performance of the M12 stuff up to this point, um, especially the drill and impact I've had for. Uh, six or seven years at least six years and I'm thinking more like seven now uh, the original batteries still work um, <clears throat> I put them in my electronics kit and uh, so yeah we'll see how well these hold up I'm, I, I'm they're not gonna be as robust as the as the regular tools but uh, you know, the regular drill and the regular impact but you're not gonna be using them for as heavy-duty stuff either so um, we'll see how it holds up everything Feels nice in the hand uh, from the, the fit and finish from a uh, from this point of view looks pretty good. Uh, the chuck feels nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a plastic chuck. I'm sure it's just to save weight though, because uh, it's already pretty uh, off balance towards the heavy end. I mean, you put the battery in here, that's going to help, but it's already like pretty off balance in that direction. So they probably didn't want to put an, a hefty chuck on there too, and probably has something to do with the. Um, <coughs> You have a smaller motor and, and uh, you know, having to do this 90 degree with the, the gearbox and stuff like that, trying to uh, reduce the rotating mass. Um, you got a clutch, kind of a different range of clutch. You know, it's not what you see on a normal drill. I actually don't, I honestly don't know what the, uh, is that just like a, Arbitrary number. It's not you know. It's not based on a torque setting or anything. I don't believe. Um, it's just from zero to ten. But then like the on the drill driver I have, I think it goes from like one to you know or two to twenty something or eighteen or something like that. And then drill is no clutch. So actually, don't know. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to talk to someone who knew that. If there is, a, if it's just, I think it's. I feel like it's just an arbitrary number, but it could be wrong. That makes sense with this one, especially because 10 is the last one, but that's the drill, that's the 11. Where can you go from there? Where? I don't know. Nowhere, exactly. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Uh, put it up to 11. 11, exactly. Well, anyways, yeah, with the battery in there, not, definitely not bad. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good balance, pretty good feel in the hand. Feels pretty good and torquey for what it is, you know. And obviously, I haven't tried it on anything yet, but uh, uh, one small complaint here, or not really a complaint, but just like why why did they do it this way? They have arrows. See, it's not even like a, a like a clockwise counterclockwise kind of thing. It's just an up arrow and a down arrow, which I mean, the up arrow is oh, didn't mean to blind you there. The up arrow is on, 
uh, on off <laughs> forward reverse uh, fastener on fastener off they're obviously not going to have the same amount of uh, torque or and they're not going to be as heavy duty you're not going to be able to uh, abuse it the same way I've gotten seven years of uh, pretty frequent and not a uh, real not necessarily light duty use on my M12 uh, drill driver and uh, to a, for the same time span but definitely used it less the impact also and they've both held, held up very well so um, even the original batteries that came with it which is what one of these is actually I believe yeah that's right yeah this is one of the original batteries and then it still works good too I have this in my uh, in my cleanup bag this is the, the vacuum the one I'm keeping in there for the vacuum at least for now um, I have my two, uh, my f uh, four new batteries, the 2.0s and the 4.0s in my tool bag. So, yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how these stack up. They're definitely going to come, the right angle tools are definitely going to come in handy. It's not so, something I use all the time, but uh, it's sure going to be nice to have it when I need it. So. It's just, it's quite unbelievable.